Hello YouTube. Morning, morning, morning. Um, today in my own car, I have to uh, uh, work on my own car, have an engine light. And I did put a scan on it. And it say that, let's see. I'm not sure my camera can see it. It say that PO155, okay? It's a uh, oxygen heater circus bank two sensor one, okay? So bank two sensor one. So that means my my O2 sensor is not working. So let me do a live data on that to see what sensor t bank two sensor one is working or not. S1 sensor 2 so in bank 1 sensor 2 that's in bank 1 sensor 1 so the one on top bank 1 sensor 1 bank 1 sensor 2 that's working so I need to go to the sen bank 2 so bank 2 sensor 1 is function right there so I don't know why it's not function according to my uh, engine light here say this is not sensor so O2 sensor 2 bank 2 sensor 2 it working so I'm not sure why it's have an engine light on it 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 does function so all the two UZ which is applied in this Lexus LX 470 the GX 470 the Toyota 4Runner, uh, the V8 one from 2003 and a half, 2004, all the way to 2007 or 8. I think that was what they have the V8. And also the Sequoia and the Tundra that have the 2UZ. They are very much the same. The Lexus rating horsepower less than any of those model but still have the same engine now how do you know which side is the bank one and bank two right Toyota is very simple when you look in your repair manual or you look at Google just typing uh, 2UZ FE firing order or take typing Forerunner or Tundra or Sequoia or the Lexus firing order they will say Number one is on the driver's side, number two on the passenger side. So on the passenger side, you will have all even number, like two, four, six, eight. And then the driver's side, you will have one, three, five, seven. So that is cylinder number one is your, your bank one. Cylinder number two is your bank two. So bank two, sensor one, that means the top sensor. Sensor bank two sensor two is the bottom sensor that will be after cap. I will replace bank two sensor one. Do I talking too much? Sometimes people in YouTube say that I talk too much. Okay, if I do, sorry. So on my car, it have this plastic under cover here. It's blocking. You can see the sensor, but it best is to remove this. Under cover here so you have more room to go to the sensor. I went hunting with this car so I got a lot of mud that stuck in the bottom of the this is a bank two sensor one okay so check to make sure is uh have a connected good yep connects good so that means nothing wrong with the connecting and I will replace this sensor here O2 sensor this is more this work all of it the sensor only some that's not fit but most of the sensor will fit in this right here including some like BMW still fitting so I using this little not sure was it what's how long the length but this is the shortest one to connect it to right here so we have more room okay it come in a big box but only this sensor here so it is a denzel everything is boxed correctly but who know 
you know nowadays the box is untrustable you know uh, even the product is saying that made in USA and uh, one of this at the Toyota dealership cost two about two three hundred dollars you know okay that part number is exactly the part number from the uh, auto part and also saying right here assembly in USA so that mean don't know where it made it from but they box in the USA pretty much is that what it is but you know we'll see we'll try this one to see if it work it work we will be good if not then uh, we'll see what happened next the plug is the same one okay the length probably a little bit longer than the one I have in there I think so yeah it's longer than the OEM one so if I go to Lexus I buy one that would be exactly like this right here and this one is cross match so uh, the length is not really a matter as long as it works for me I I would say 30 40 buck for O2 sensor like this Denzel it worked that's all I need I don't even need how long how short it is okay well I'm gonna let me put in there and reset the code and we'll see what happened next after I put the new sensor in and driving for 60 miles and the code coming back and it reading that the pending code is PO135 so now the sensor on the bank one sensor one so uh, I'm going to replace the bank one too because uh, uh, it, it sh keeps showing bank one now and bank one sensor one so which is and I have this 2600 double cap I will check to see if the sensor is the same because this is from 2.4.7 uh, and the one I have the 4.7 also and look almost the same just that it's different but the length is also different too. It's just the 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 tundra have shorter uh, uh, wire, but the color of the uh, sensor is the same. And we'll check to see if the plugs is different, same or different. The plug actually different. You can see the metal one. The metal one have this kind uh, uh, the plastic in there. The the pins are same. Okay, the pins are same and just the middle ones is different so and the way it lay out the blue and the white and the two black is the bottom so it's the same but the only difference is you see this right here and the top here that's the different so that means you cannot use it because if you want to use it you can what you have to do is taking down this plug here and using this plug for the uh, the the wire right here, you can take uh, the plug out and uh, using this plug on this right here. Just pull this pit of plastic here out, and you do the same with this right here. Unplug this one too. Okay, push the clip towards you. And then you can pull because there's locking right here, okay? So you can pull, push the clip, and then you can pull from the bottom like that, okay? If you have two people and one guy push this pin here, and the other guy will hold, push the back here. So I use my finger to push like that, so it will come out. So you do have to do is, let's say that to two black in the bottom, okay? Two black in the bottom on the top whatever and let's say that these two go like that so I will take this one out because this one I come out from here so I will swap to that right there and I will do individually and I will not confusing to put where to 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 go okay if I don't do uh, individually I will take everything out there I don't know which one I will um, put it in so now I got that I'll insert to this right here 
because this is the sensor I'm going to use so I will plug it in this sensor here to the one I socket that I take him out so now I plug it in like that so I got it right there and I will take this next one which is the other black one so I will take this black one out I will do this one first Okay. And pull from the bottom. There. It came off. Then I will do it to this black one. So which is the one right here. So I switch almost everything and the only one left is the blue one. So I will do the blue one and then <coughs> will be the last one. So easiest way is cut it, cut the wire, and just connect it to right here. But <clears throat> you can do is uh, this way is a harder way because uh, um, you have to do it one by one because you were confusing. If you were switching the blue one to the white spot, then the sensor doesn't work, you know. So now I swap the uh, cap, the plug already. So I'm going to put this one back and that put this one into the correct spot. Okay, after I switching the uh, Tundra 2006 uh, plug to a uh, the uh, LX470, the Lexus plug, and now the sensors of is its function. The bank, bank two sensor one is a function. Bank two sensor two is a function. But the only thing that to know is to drive, to drive until um, everything complete. So I will drive at least like 50 miles to see if the code is coming back or all this will complete. Okay, and I will report back. All right, after I'll convert the uh, O2 sensor from an O6 Tundra to this 2000 Lexus LX 470 and the uh, old 2 sensor that I swap is good so I've been dried about 50 miles and now it's everything complete except the EVAF but according to California um, they allow to have uh, one item is not complete so as long as the, the uh, cat converter and O2 sensor is complete and the EVAF then that will be acceptable to, to pass smog uh, so now it's complete so it's ready for smog if if I need to smog then this car should be passed smog no problem according to the light data your sensor is you know read it now a lot of time when you light data and you know that it's not good sensor is it's just throwing zero or throwing number like a six 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 or nine nine nine. It's just a number that doesn't jumping around. You know when your number is a freeze number, I mean that sensor is dead, and and you know that that sensor is bad. But according to this right here, the sensor is function, but I don't know why. It's still throwing code so when you replace it then the sensor will work again but a lot of time when you fix bank one sensor one and then still throwing code bank one sensor one I recommend it for you to swap the um, the uh, the back sensor which is the sensor number two and it doesn't matter bank bank one or bank two those two front sensor 
are the same and the bank to the, the sensor two, which is the rear and the after cat they are the same so the two on the back it's the same you can swap and the two in the front is the same so you can swap you cannot swap from the back to the front because they are different and sometimes if you fix the front one and still throw in the coat the same the front one then I mean maybe the back one is not good and that's why it it feel like good but not good enough so that's what throwing code from the front because the back one okay I have that done uh, on the 2006 Tundra it take me long time to figure that out that's why I'm going to tell you that this type of vehicle here especially new vehicle that the the the, the air fuel sensor is very sensitive so sometimes take a lot of you know work to figure out that and sometimes like on meter or 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 your computer it does not give you specifically bad or not bad but they're not bad enough they're not good enough but they're not too bad and they just keep throwing code and that is the hardest part that we cannot figure out and if you want to replay all four that's a hell of expensive okay and on this O2 sensor that I put for the Lexus here I got it from sparkplug.com and that's about 40 bucks and that's a Denzel too auto part double that Toyota triple that or maybe quadruple and this is working you can see that on my OBD2 and now everything is complete so not all aftermarket part is good even though brand name like Denzel or NGK or NTK whatever you know sometimes they are not create equally I think some of the manufacturer like they are copycat you know I don't know um, even though Denzel but still a copy Denzel from the dealer Den Denzel is totally different Denzel than the one you brought up from Auto Park that's my opinion my opinion because I have a 2200 core 2100 core one of one of the friend of mine and we bought a Denzel um, O2 sensor which is an air fill sensor we call F air fill but it's not like O2 O2 is different than air fill you know O2 you only have maybe one wire or two wire but air fill sensor is you have four wire that like one of the green wire in there that's like air fill sensor the mixture of the air and gas is different than just reading oxygen only in the past we can use any other brand like let's say Honda and Toyota they they prefer to have Denzel or engine K right and you can put Bosch in there they work good but you know just O2 sensor whatever cheapest you can put in there they still work but not new car new car sometimes you put even though Denzel from auto part it does not create equally from the Toyota dealership or Honda dealership because they the way they I don't know the way they made it is totally different I'm not sure I'm not the one who created those so I don't know but I I have an experience that on a Honda I put an aftermarket on it but it's Denzel still doesn't work because the dealer charged about 380 to 400 dollars just for one air, air fuel sensor and an auto part is about 170 dollars so double the price right and I put in there it doesn't work so I have to go to the dealership and get one and it worked so it's a Denzel against Denzel but I don't know that's why that's why this kind of part is maybe Denzel copy and Denzel original so um, nowadays it's hard to tell where we can get the correct part if you don't get it from a dealership sometimes it's not Denzel it's a copy from China I'm not sure okay 
all right hopefully a video like this will helping you if something like this helping you I need your help you know sometimes you say thank you to me it's the same thing is my video valuable right but I I really appreciate if you help me subscribe because I need I need my number I need a number you know I need a number that that's that's all I can ask for a thank you just just hit a subscribe even though my future video maybe not what you're looking for but please just leave your subscribe in there help my number go up please thank you so much bye bye now have a pleasant day coronavirus so stay safe all right bye bye now see you guys next video